Well, what's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the Taxi Ones or the Yellow Toe Jordan Ones. Before I get into the video, go over the kicks. If you're new to the channel, this is your first time just stumbling across one of my videos, I wanna welcome you to my channel, tell you thank you for taking some time to drop by and kick it with me for a minute. Look, while you're here, do me a huge favor though. Can you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for me? That way, if I upload new material, post new content, you'll get notified. You can head to the channel and you can see what I uploaded for you guys. Also, if you are on social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, you're into sneakers, pictures of sneakers, outfits, sneaker talk, all that stuff, go ahead and give me a follow. And you can find me, I'm at IMTMCII. So if you're into social media and on it, give me a follow there. And lastly, if you enjoy the content, enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button for me. That really goes a long way, guys. It's a motivator to me, uh, it's an indicator. Let me know that you guys enjoy the content and it just makes me wanna keep taking out time to record videos every time I have a new pickup. So if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button for me. It really goes a long way. All right, now that the intro's out of the way, gotta get that out of the way for the new subs and the new people. Uh, let's just dive right into the review and the kicks for you guys. So. As I mentioned, these are the, the taxi ones or the yellow toe ones. Uh, street and the sneaker culture have ways about giving shoes different nicknames. So we go with either one of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just dive into the different materials that we have used on here. Then I'm gonna touch on quality control a little bit. Uh, and towards the end of the video, I'm gonna toss them on feet, go over sizing, comfort and all that stuff. So just pretty much stick around for the whole video or you can kind of just fast forward to the part you care about most but i pretty much got you guys covered for all aspects relating to the shoe so let's just dive right into the material on these and guys i want to say that the materials is really really good we, we got a nice grain of leather uh it's a nice tumbled leather look normally we would get a, that plastic mcdonald's toy type synthetic leather on ones and on dunks but on this pair they went with a really good tumble seemed like a nice quality type leather on here uh i'm not sure if it's quite shattered backboard i know we we label that shattered backboard is like the, the the one like that's the standard for for most ones uh because that shattered backboard has some really nice thick leather on it but these um these are these are good. They, they're definitely good. Even the, the black paneling on here, you can see when I press on here. So sometimes on ones, like the little toe guard, we get like stiff plastic, uh, cheap leather here. Uh, but seem like we got a decent grain of leather on the little toe cap and on the actual toe itself. Even coming to, over to the sides, uh, seem like they went with a nice grain of leather. At least it feels nice. Um, it doesn't feel like cheap and synthetic to me. It feels like a, a decent grain uh, from the look and from the touch. You know, got a nice tumbled feel to it. It's a nice, nice, nice grain for for, it, uh, for what they used on these. The swoosh have like a little smooth to, uh, smooth leather on it, whereas like the white paneling have that, that tumbled on there. Um, it's the same color blocking as you, you know, any other Jordan one, for the most part, we just have kind of this yellow toe and the, 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 the toe type uh, color blocking on here, like the red toes, we had the uh, court purples, all the different ones, but now we finally have uh, this yellow toe or this taxi colorway. And I'm a huge fan of colors, especially something like this. Um, it's gonna draw attention to your feet whenever you rock these and put these on. And I'm a fan of any kind of shoe or footwear that just make people look down at your feet to see what you have on. So overall material that they use i think that we got some good quality on these so you guys will definitely be happy and pleased when you see these coming into the sock liner you got that taxi uh yellow insole with the black writing uh try and see if i could see the the date on here for when these went into production can't really get it on here uh, maybe on this one if you guys can see that Just get the tongue out the way CDs went into production somewhere around, look like April. Yeah, look, it looked like they went into production around April of 22. So went into production early this year and now we got them. Uh, outsole, got that yellow taxi outsole, regular traditional Jordan 1 outsole, nothing too different. Uh, something, you know, nothing we've never seen before, just a different colorway. Got the little writing and the markings in the inside. This part right here. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as 
uh, the materials go. No extra laces or anything. I saw like early leaked photos when people first, first starting to put these out. And people had extra set of laces and all that stuff with it. So if you have these and you have an extra set of laces, they're fake. Um, just straight out. These didn't come with an extra set of laces. You should only have one pair of black laces in here. If yours came with an extra set of laces, um, they're, they're, they're fake. They're not real. Um, coming over to quality control, I looked over here, did, did like a quick glance before I started recording the video, and I didn't see many glue marks, uh, no real stitching issues or any concern as far as quality control goes, and that's good. Normally, you have like glue stains, marks, uh, you can see paint strokes, threading issues, uh, uh, stitching issues, but overall seems like they did a really good job with the quality control, at least on my pair. I don't have anything to complain about, um, especially nothing that I see at a, at a glance in the first stare. Normally, I do a little quick scan before I start recording these videos, and if I see something, I would uh, kind of point it out when I go over quality control, but overall, the QC is a really good job on these. So show you guys the box before I toss them on feet. So you don't have the regular black box with the red writing like we normally get. Uh, so I actually like that. I like that we get uh, different kind of boxes to stick out with the rest of the boxes in my collection, make it easier for finding. So anytime we get a, a different box, I'm always a fan of that as well. So here is your, your label with your product code, your color breakdown. You have your little code here you can scan with your camera on your phone that just opens up the regular Nike app. It doesn't take you to anything special. It doesn't take you to the shoe or anything like that, but I'm sure somewhere down the line that code is gonna be used for something. But for now, it just opens up the regular Nike app. So here's the box. Um, here are the kicks. Show you guys one more time. Before I take them off here and toss them on feet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these. I usually reply to you guys. When you leave me comments, if I don't reply to what you said, I'm gonna hit the heart button or the thumb button, the thumbs up button next to your comment. So curious to see what you guys take is on these. So leave me a comment, let's chat, chat it up in the uh, comment section. I'm gonna take them off here now, toss them on feet, show y'all what they look like. Y'all hang tight. All right guys, here's a quick on feet look at your taxi ones or yellow toe ones, whatever the sneaker culture, whatever we deciding to give these the nickname, either one. Uh, here they go. Just want to show y'all what they look like really quick on feet. Um, my most asked question is usually sizing, how the shoes fit and run whenever I post fit, uh, pictures or anything like that. And to me, I have like a medium to somewhat narrow foot and my feet aren't doing any growing. I don't think my feet are doing any more growing and I prefer like a snug exact fit on my kicks. So I usually go down to half size. If you like a snug exact fit on your shoes, I think go down to half size in these, you'll be cool. However, if you don't like that fit, go true to size and you'll be good to go. Um, if you have wide feet and you like a snug and exact fit, I could say, I say go true to size and I think you'll be good. You'll be able to get that fit you're looking for. But if you have wide feet and you want just like a little bit of room in your shoes, you may want to consider going up a half size and you should be good to go. As far as comfort goes, um, if you're looking for like squish and bounce and just man, these are the most comfortable shoes ever. You won't get that in a Jordan one. Sorry. Uh, the technology is like from the eighties when these initially came out and Nike hadn't changed much of the tech since, uh, it's not uncomfortable at all. You can still casually rock these all day long, not being any kind of pain or discomfort or anything like that. And the more you wear ones and as they start to break in, they only start to feel better and better on feet. So they're not the most comfortable, but they're definitely not painful at all. So on a scale of like one to five, five being like extremely comfortable, these like maybe a three and a half, somewhere like that. But as they break in, I think, you know, that number changes, but here you go. Won't keep you guys anymore. Just want to show you what they look like really quick on feet. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. As I mentioned earlier, thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, Peace and thanks for watching.